Knoxville, Asheville. My name's Kirby Smith. I'm with Lightspeak Instruction. Here today to help me uh, walk through this video is Fred Rusi. So we're going to be talking today about two different topics. One is the thickness of OSB and plywood. And number two is your four nail shingles and where those guys might be applied. I guess we'll probably start off with shingles. Four nail shingles are both shown here. These are dimensional shingles that are a little different because the manufacturer is actually going to be talking about them using four nails instead of six. The reason for that is that Owens Corning duration, which is the first shingle, is going to have a canvas reinforced strip on the front. The second shingle that's a four nail shingle is an IKO Dynasty. Canvas reinforced strip actually on the back. Where we're actually going to be putting this initially, and where it's very, very helpful, is going to be on a low slope roof, like a, maybe a 212. Codes call for manufacturer specifications. Light speed's going to call for a shingle with less nails. If you've got fewer nails, you've got fewer opportunities for the roof to leak. You know that, exactly. right, Fred? There's two things that we're going to spec out. One is a four nail shingle, like I said, either IKO Dynasty or Owens Corning Duration. The second thing is material called ice and water shield. Ice and water is going to seal around the nail heads when you drive it through the shingles. Number two is you're going to have to use fewer nails because you actually don't have to nail plastic cap nail this material on. It's got a sticky back. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's actually stuck to this piece of plywood right here so that you'd actually put this material down and so in an instance like say for example a two slope where it's just kind of funny uh, codes don't really like to talk too much about that they say use manufacturer specifications or multiple layers of felt we're really going to suggest this product because it's going to seal around the nail head and you're not going to have to put as many nails around it as per discussion a four nail shingle works perfectly uh, the pattern's going to let create less exposure for water to get in or snow to get in to the nail heads of this particular material. And it's going to be fewer nail heads to have the water to get opportunity in there as well. So four nail shingles, ice and water for 212 slope. Really don't suggest shingles any less than 212 under any circumstance, but 212, if you've got that specced off sound like a, a mobile home, sometimes you see them or or possibly a new build. We actually had a homeowner with a, a new construction the architect had put a lot of 212 slope and was expecting shingles to work. They can. This is the suggestion that we have on how to make that occur. The other mention that we've got here is that this four nail shingle, Owens Corning Duration or IKO Dynasty, is also going to work great and I'm going to put it right up here on a mansard roof. Mansard's pretty much going to be a steep roof that is not usually going to be very friendly to your traditional shingles. We see shingles slide all the time, a little mist nail or shingle itself is fluid so it can actually pull through those nails. It typically can become a very big problem if it is a problem, which is why we suggest a shingle that can hold four nails and have a canvas reinforced strip. Canvas reinforced strip if the shingle is up and down, say for example like it is right in the second, it's going to make a world of difference on keeping that shingle from sliding, right, Fred? Yes. So, um, the other point I wanted to make in this video was that we actually cut down two pieces, ripped down two pieces of board. You guys may be able to see this in the, you want to give me a hand lifting yeah. this up, Fred? Yeah. You want to go this way? So, below is a piece of 7 16 OSB, and above is a piece of 5 8 inch plywood. Code is saying that this is no longer acceptable and this is what we use now. Where we actually employ that, you can see that your boards are going to be nailed to a rafter right here. You can put that down. Where your boards are going to be getting nailed to a rafter, if for example somebody has an old roof, tree falls through the roof, damages a few shingles on a 7 16 board, your insurance company may come out and say what? Let's replace the board. Yeah and put a few shingles out. Exactly right. And they want to pay you, say, 500 bucks, which will be less than the price of your deductible. Yeah. Sound about right? Yeah, correct. Okay, so one of our contentions is that, you know, code's going to suggest that we cannot actually put a 7 16 board back on your roof because it would look about like this, where there's a nice little gap between your 7 16 and your 5 8 So 
insurance company would actually be on the hook to buy the whole roof in our opinion and we would right. submit that to them on behalf of our customers fair enough fair enough so three mentions four nail shingles good for low slope good for high slope OSB board or plywood for that matter is now being upgraded to 5.8 so if you're redecking your house if you're building a house definitely have your architect take a look at that to get it code compliant and if a tree falls on your house and your insurance company wants to pay you just 500 bucks to repair it give us a buzz we may be able to give you guys a help Kirby Smith Fred with Lightspeed Construction thank you guys so much for tuning in hope that helps